Yo, what up, guys, and welcome back. Today, we're going to continue on. In the last episode, I guess we had, uh, we played as Miles for a little bit there, and, uh, so Miles pretty much lost his dad. Hey, what's up? What do you know about Sable International? Let me see. They're an international security firm, usually hired by governments to end revolutions or start them. The last thing we need is a city full of trigger happy mercenaries. Whoa, social media is blowing up. They're setting up checkpoints around the city, doing random stop and frisks. This is crazy. No, this is Norman Osborne feeling threatened. All right, so we're about to find out exactly what uh, happened here a little bit. This is stable control. I'm sorry about Requesting that. Update from Bowery. Taking heavy fire from demons at checkpoint Delta. We just passed by a helicopter right there, dirty. But we are on our way somewhere. So we're, I guess we're heading over to Feast here. All right. So I guess we got to change into our uh, regular clothing here. Peter. So if you're running this place while Mr. Lee's out of town, who's doing your old job? Uh, me. But I could always use more help. You know anyone? Actually, I do. His name is Miles Morales. Why does that sound familiar? His father was being honored at City Hall. Oh. I talked to him at the funeral. He's a smart kid. He's just having a tough time. I knew a boy like that once. I remember it helped to uh, stay busy. It might help him too. Here's his mom's number. Thanks. I'll give her a call. Hey, you haven't heard from Mr. Lee, have you? No, why? I'm just curious. I've got a few minutes before work. I'm gonna look around, see if there's anything else I can do to help you out. Oh, you, you don't have to. I know, I want to. I should check out Lee's office. Need help with those veggies? I learned a long time ago, you're more help staying out of the kitchen than in it. All right, perfect for us. Gives us a chance to go and uh, snoop around. <laughs> That's our main objective here. Let's go up there for sure. Pete, glad to see you're okay. Hanging in there. Hmm. This office is locked. Said you were at the How bottom. do I get in there? I was praying quietly. Thanks. I appreciate it. I don't feel safe anymore. I, I guess that guy was still talking to us. My bad. Maybe there's a vent somewhere. Ah, there we go. <laughs> smooth, smooth, Peter, smooth. Uh, never seen that room before. Whoa, what the? The uh, hell? High voltage lines. What needs this much power? I understand, but the account number is in Mr. Lee's office, which is inaccessible. I will call you back as soon as I can get that information. No, I don't know when that will be. room I saw from the crawl space. It should be right on the other side of the shrine. Lee's journal. A key. I wonder where the lock is. Lee sounds conflicted. Almost like he didn't want to head down this path. The shrine in the photo is missing the picture. 
Right? It's different for sure. Lee did so much for New York. I can't believe he was hiding such darkness inside him. This is the ghost story Lee's father read to him. About a demon that could only be mastered through balance. Remember, remember the old man said, only balance can master the demon's strength. Without balance, the master will turn on any who attempts to control it. All right, let's see here. Well, for the key. Hmm. Some kind of puzzle lock. Oh, shit. That seems right. Oh, too far. Oh, I see. Yes. Oh, there we go. <laughs> At least it kind of figured it out a little bit. Whoa. Well, and then what are you hiding, Lee? hidden agenda there's that mask he's giving his powers to the others how does Lee imbue these with his power bioelectric induction compressed phase shift he sure is obsessed with masks is it a Jungian thing like he needed to pretend to be someone else to let his darkest feelings out Pretended to be a demon until he became one. Anything else? I guess now. I will right, move on. Can feel my power growing, feeding off my anger. Father would say I've lost the path of balance, but he could never understand. The only way to fight a monster is to become one. He went off the deep end for sure. Oh, this is the folder MJ found at the auction house. This might help us figure out what Lee's planning next. What is that? Creepy. Oh, it's like the negative, the negative photo. <laughs> I think that was it for here. Phew. It's a burn room, wired to destroy evidence. Can you shoot that? What else? Is there one missing? One more. The police had found this. Or May. Don't want to think of what could have happened. Get out of here. Well, if worst comes to worst, you can break shit. Uh, 
Hello, Peter. Oh, shit. Mr. Lee. I thought you were out of town. Did you find what you were looking for? Martin, you're back. Can get that. Thank you. And heading off again shortly, I'm afraid. Just needed a few things from my office. You must have heard about City Hall. Yes. Tragic. Peter was there. He was very lucky. And an Osborne rally. I didn't know you were a fan. Well, what matters is you are both safe. Amen. But the bombers are still out there. Who knows what they've planned next? Oh, I don't think you or May have anything to worry about. As long as you stay away from places you're not supposed to be. Well, I should go. When will you be back? When my work is done. Poor Aunt May, she's so oblivious and innocent, you know? It's one of those, like... Wait, wait, wait! Holy shit, bro. What the? Oh my god. Does he know that? Captain Watanabe. I finally got your evidence. Head to the Feast Center in Chinatown. What am I going to find? A nice lady named May Parker. And some really weird stuff hidden in Lee's office. But listen, he's got another attack planned. Where? When? Still working on that, but I think he's going to use something called Devil's Breath. Sounds destructive. What is it? A substance created by Oscorp. Probably a bioweapon of some kind. I have a folder full of info on it. I'm holding on to it for now. I'll send copies as soon as I can. Okay, we'll check his office. If the evidence stands up, I'll put out an APB. MJ, hey. Just checking in. Peter, hey. Can I call you back? I think you'll want to hear this. Wait, why are you whispering? Just in the middle of something. How about we catch up over dinner? My place? Oh, sure. I'll even cook. Cool. See ya. Wait. Remember how you told me about Lee's corrupting touch? I think I just saw it in action. How? Some perfectly nice homeless people just jumped me. Thing is, they had glowing eyes. And I remembered Yuri telling me something similar about the guard who released Shocker. So Shocker was working for Lee? Uh, it's all connected. There's more. But I guess we'll talk about it at dinner. Yeah, see ya. Dinner? <sighs> what should I cook? Oh, hi, Doctor. How are you? Parker! Exciting news! Come by the lab! Uh, like, now? This is my divining moment. Can't wait to show you. Cool! Um, I've got dinner plans. Can I come by later? Dinner can wait. You need to see this, Peter. Uh, okay. Be right there. Alright, we'll head over there. This means I have a job again. Yes, I can stop by. Just for a minute. We have a hostage situation involving a tourist bus. Officers needed in the East Village. Today is a day for somber moments. For mourning and honoring fallen heroes like Jefferson. But it's also a day to vow. It stops here. Some people say I blame everything on Spider-Man. Well, I don't blame him for the bomb. That cowardly act is squarely the responsibility of whoever committed it. We're gonna keep New York safe. We can no longer tolerate the kind of lawlessness Spider-Man and his ilk represent. This is our city. By God, we're gonna take it back. One of Howard's pigeons. Come on. He's a fast one. Oh, we're not going to catch that right now.
No way. <laughs> yeah, let's check it out. Let's see what I got's going on. Hey, doctor. Hello, Peter. I'll be just a minute. Wow. Look at all this new stuff. We really need to get better about organizing our... Where did you get all this equipment? Called in every last favor. Took out a few loans. It's like we're starting over once again. But this time's going to be different. Our first volunteer subject, Lance Corporal Texador. Lost his arm overseas and now just wants to hug his daughter again. Hey, Doc, what you got going on? You've been busy. Just getting started. You know, until now, we've been looking at prosthetics from the wrong perspective. Why restore people to what they were when we can make them better? Okay, I think that should do it. You ready? Everything okay? Damn it! This is all your fault, Norman, you son of a... Well, I know who you're not voting for in the next election. Sorry. I uh, have a habit of making bad jokes in tense situations. <laughs> uh, it was a good joke, Parker. Just a bit of an overreaction on my part. No, don't worry. Uh, why don't you take a break? I'll, uh, I'll clean this up and uh, get us ready for another test. So, uh, hope you don't mind me asking, but it seems you and Norman have a bit of a history. We were lab partners in college. Became friends. Decided to start a business. We both had visions of changing the world just in different ways. Wait, you were at Oscorp when it started? I'm half the reason it's called Oscorp. In grad school, everyone called us the O's. <sighs> Add Corp to that and, well, it is a catchy name. Well, why'd you leave? Norman became more and more obsessed with genetics. He started a project I considered unethical. And there was this... Anyway, lawyers got involved. I chose to leave in exchange for a settlement. But that money didn't last very long. I've relied on grants ever since. If this project doesn't work... Don't worry. It'll work. Uh, let, me, let me just fix this up. I'll brew some fresh coffee. Some coffee sounds delish. Be sure to run a <laughs> diagnostic on the control unit. Could be a short. Oh, here we go. Oh. No good. Gotta reroute this circuit. Okay, so... Let's take a look at this, so... Maybe we can remove that. We can remove that and that for now, at least. These ones we gotta keep there, but can we rotate this? Have this go down. Since, since these were... Uh, Three, so maybe we're going to need a three and a four.
right? Or how about... So that'd be four. How about another? No, we can't do another four. How about a five? Maybe we can go here. Or we can switch here. Great one. Going up. Another one here. How about be a ne negative four? There we go. Five. And straight. There it was. There it is. Oh. Why don't you do the honors this time? I think we did it. Next step, neural interface. That's a lot of work for you to do by yourself. You sure you can handle it? Apparently not, judging by today's debacle. Because I still haven't found another job. My funds are still... I know. It's okay. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. What's a few bucks when you're trying to change the world, right? To changing the world. <laughs> so I guess we're working for free? Doctor, I need to go, but I'll be back later. Don't worry, the work will still be here when you get back. What's that? We're trying to improve the prosthetics hardware. I should review what Doc's been developing and double check his work. The station will allow you to work on circuit projects. Okay. Earn extra XP and other rewards from completing projects. So we might end, uh, I might end up doing this off camera that way, or unless you guys want to see it, but maybe we will run a couple. See, more circuit projects will unlock as your progress through the game, as you progress through the game. All right, so we got, there's a couple for sure. The bonus for completing the whole thing. All right, I'll have to come back to that. And I think we're late for our date with uh, MJ. Like always, you're late. Hey, sorry I missed your call. We still on for dinner? Dinner? Oh, yeah. I was calling you about something else, but yeah, we should talk over dinner. Offer still stands for me to come over and cook. Oh, really? Well, I like to take risks. I'm still out, but I'll grab some stuff at the store and let you know when I'm home. Okay, talk soon. Never mind. All right, dinner at MJ's. Low expectations. It'll be hard to screw this one up. Guess I'll just freelance for a while until she calls. Speaking of that, what else do we got for skills? We got three available. All right, so this one was the one that I was aiming for. That one costs two. Keep pushing F to keep spinning them. <laughs> I kind of like that one, but that one's worth two. Might as well do this one for now. I 
Alright, so we're out of there. Looks like you unlocked more suits. <laughs> nice. Nice. We got a couple of these the suit mods going for sure. Help us out a little bit. What else do we got? We gotta wait for them to call or MJ to call. Wonder what this uh right, let's go check it out. This side mission here. Let's check it out. Let's see what we got. Ground teams report on the situation in the flat iron. Demons are firing on TCP Bravo. Need backup. Oh, it's right too there. Many bullets flying over there. Attention units. Masked terrorists have planted a bomb. Officers in Murray Hill, stand by for further instructions. I have to tell you, Triple J, I used to think you were exaggerating the danger to the city, but... Are you okay, ma'am? Carmen, and I'm fine. It's my husband, Rodrigo. He's been acting weird, and I just found out he's meeting this woman. Well, listen, I'm not the best person to help with relationship problems. It's not like that. I think she's involved with bad people. Rodrigo might be in real trouble. He's scared, but he won't tell me anything. I can check it out. Any idea when he's meeting her next? Tonight, by the detox center in Greenwich. Okay. Don't worry, Carmen. I'll find out what's going on. Got a business Detox center's not far. Carmen just sent me Rodrigo's picture. Let's see if I can find him. Let's find out. Uh, she knows that he's not having an affair, supposedly. Just meeting up. But why the hell would he meet up with some random... Let's find out. It's Rodrigo. He's really nervous. That woman doesn't seem like a girlfriend. I'll get a photo and see if Carmen recognizes her. You better not blackmail. Maybe a blackmailing. If that picture gets out, my life's over. Bad angle. Plan, Need to get it straight on. What? Just what I need. Alright, there we go. Looks good. Remember, tell anyone about this, and I leak the photo. It is blackmail. Plans. This sounds bigger than I thought. I better follow the blackmailer and find out how big. Carmen, I'm uploading a photo to you. Does this woman look familiar? I don't know. I've never seen her. What are they talking about? Sounds like she's blackmailing him. She mentioned something about plans. My husband works security at a casino in Atlantic City. She could be planning a heist, but I'll need more evidence before I can do anything. Let me know if I can help. All right. I'm going to see where she's taking the plans. I'll be in touch. Victim or an accomplice? I need a photo. No perches with a good angle on this new guy. Looks like it's the underside of the High Line. Took you long enough. Yeah. yeah. As soon as he saw the photo, he fell in line. Rodrigo always was. A Boss will be happy. Let's see the plans. Nice clear That's image. About. Gotta catch my train. I wanna keep the boss with me. Tonight's gonna be our biggest score yet. Hell yeah. 
Oh, how many people are no. in on this? Damn it, my bad. How many people are in on this? <laughs> I've got to follow him. Oh man, at least we started right here practically. Where is he getting off? Tapping into the train system should help me follow the train's path. Carmen, the blackmailer met some guy under the High Line. Sounded like you knew your husband. I'm sending you the photo. That's Deshaun, Rodrigo's best friend from college. He went to prison years ago on a robbery charge. Casino plans and a criminal record. Not a great combination. I need to find out who else is in on it. If they're hitting the casino, they'll need at least a wheelman and a safe cracker. I watch a lot of high school movies. Sounds like it. I'll let you know what I find out. I was about to say, how the hell do you know that? Still, that's even still watching a lot of movies. <laughs> it still sounds like sus. Let me just jump on the train. End of the line. I should head over near the subway exit and wait for him to get out. Heading for that office building. Now, what are you planning? Up the elevator going up. Can he spot me from here? We need to comb around. That way we kind of get a... There we go. All right. Roman's ready and we are running late. Let's roll. They're on the move. I have all the evidence I need. Now I just have to stop that car. Guys, gone. What the hell? Spider-Man! You better not take him out! Here's your stuff! Well, that's just oh. rude. Oh, what? You guys sure want to do this? Just don't want to do this for sure. I love it when a plan falls apart. Hey, Carmen. <laughs> Your husband's pal and his team just had their trip to beautiful Atlantic City canceled. Thank you. I spoke to Rodrigo. That blackmail photo shows him driving the night Deshaun committed the robbery. 
But Rodrigo didn't know about it. He was just picking up his friend. I've got a contact on the force. She'll help Rodrigo. Especially if he'll agree to testify about the blackmail. He will. Or I'll show him he needs to be a lot more afraid of me than Deshaun. Thanks, Spider-Man. <laughs> Oh, it looks like we helped out. Road. What the hell? I oh, leveled up. Hey, MJ. All right, I picked up a bunch of stuff at the store. Can't wait to see what you come up with. Swinging over now. Prepare to be amazed. <laughs> well, now we got uh, the date with MJ, but that's going to have to wait until next episode, guys. <laughs> Sorry about that, but we'll find out on the next episode of what, what happens at the date. So we're going to leave it there, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have been enjoying the series. I've been enjoying playing this. And uh, we'll catch you in the next video very soon, guys. Later.